Hey guys, how's everyone? Today I want to ask Spirit Guides, who is your future spouse? What they want you to know? What is going on around your journey and in your connection? So these are the choices right now. Pile 1, Loyal Heart. Pile 2, Happy Happy. Pile 3, Soulmate. I already compiled Tarot and Oracle and I set the intention. Um, okay so it is very humid today and officially summertime so i hope you're staying cool let's go soul tribe pick your choices calling on my spirit guys my guardian angel the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe as we're going to channel messages possible energies advice for those who's going to pick pile loyal heart happy happy and soulmate spirit guys who is their future spouse what's going on in their connection who is this person what their future spouse wants them to know thank you very much protection guidance and blessing please for my soul tribe for everyone who needed to hear this message thank you very much so um the reason why i was pre-shuffling a lot lately because so i'm not going to be so disorganized here and then we can just go right ahead and jump into your reading loyal heart you could be in a manifesting a twin flame or a soulmate connection regardless all these piles right now are the intention that we want to manifest the right person in our life so let's go what is going on here i'm not going to read on reverse the hermit someone you could be attracting a person who has a traumatic past a person who's going through some kind of shadow work or has went through dark night of the soul a person who like a, you know a person who gone through like a lot in their past I'm not saying they're troubled person but a person who has a very difficult past childhood issues trauma issues has gone through something like uh, like you know like a life-changing situation in their life Let, let's say let's see that's what i'm trying to say the fool i'm picking up like a masculine energy trying to do some soul searching that kind of makes sense that the hermit mode is here so they're single possibility in the past could be someone who's playing the field um not ready to commit possibility was someone who was a player but like i said i could see from deep inside that this is a good person a good man they just need some kind of direction possibility you are connecting with someone who travels a lot or there's actual distance in here but a person who could be mysterious as well and who's very elusive what else um the high priestess okay so there's a feminine here she could be really intuitive could be a mystic someone emotional someone sensitive but very gifted also someone who could be a late bloomer like a very smart person wise person so okay so let's find out more like you know the high priestess could also meant that you are drawn to a specific person right now it's much more on the spiritual connection now you're going to now you're asking universe how are you going to meet each other because you you've been seeing signs synchronicities you've been seeing like like some kind of premonitions in your dreams or in your waking life or intuitively so the star so someone is a star seed here but you know it like the masculine could be a star seed or an earth angel or the feminine could be a star seed or a light worker yeah definitely there's some kind of distance here and a lot of connection in the fantasy or the spiritual realm 5d realm something like that when i say 5d it's much more of like you're you're in each other's thoughts you're in each other's mind someone is very drawn to you is this connection mutual i think the connection is mutual but you have to cross the bridge right now that you need to meet each other in the physical world you need to manifest this connection in physical reality judgment this person you might already know because the judgment is someone that you already 
have a past life connection with past life relationship or a person you've already been in this journey together but there could be some kind of separation between you two because you still need to see each other again meet each other again or the judgment could also be a second chance or closure from the past it could also meant that you need to forgive someone so there's a lot of message going on here but the message from your future spouse i'm dreaming about you i want to be with you i'm sorry if i have hurt you uh, i didn't i'm sorry because i didn't know any better but i i am trying to be a better person for you i am healing myself like what else see the the nine of pentacles is um the more like uh, there's some feminine here she's trying to manifest stability abundance she's trying to manifest her life partner so um there's also a feminine here she is losing patience and at one point she's going to be powerless but if it's not like she wants to let go of this connection also a feminine is going to transitions when it comes to money and career in her spiritual path and um you know like feeling a little bit shaky and unstable right now in her journey but the message for you feminine spirit guide says do not doubt your intuition follow your inner compass because it's going to lead you where you need to be you're being divinely guided anyway and your future spouse is trying to tell you they do not want to be separated from you as well so um let's let's understand more this is a person you're connecting to right now who wants to be with you as well let's let's find out more let's just whip through it i have trust issues yeah the hermit mode really has some kind of mysterious elusive trust issues okay science deja vu in our knowing dreams which i already was saying i did not i did not uh, arrange this so try you know i want to give you a promise ring well this is a person or a masculine wanting to give you assurance that that they want to be with you and hopefully they're going to come through with their promise to be with you so something about july august and september so we are technically in july right now so this these are the months of summer july august september uh, today is is july 7th i think or okay well i haven't felt this way before well this person is definitely seeing signs and is also picking up your energy there's a very strong energetic exchange energetic connection here or spiritual connection to tell you the truth i tell you someone like who travels a lot maybe you're going to meet this person while you're running errands or traveling something about car maybe someone is interested here maybe they some there's their work here is about transportation something like that or errands some transportation you might be connecting with someone who is very attractive tall and handsome and you might meet this person in a coffee shop as well so and they might think that you are youthful have soft skin and beautiful face or you might be connecting with someone who is very youthful looking younger than their age because there's some feminine in here you could be a late bloomer but you look younger than your age uh, what else can or maybe this is how the way your person looks at you you look beautiful ethereal beauty beautiful soft skin angelic and a uh, beautiful face okay so so anyway let's clear i just want to see possibilities january could play like a major <laughs> part in your journey as well but as, as well as july august and september something about career but i mentioned that there could be a feminine here you are kind of shaky with your career right now but this is the astral house so it's going to open up you're going to find your stability maybe for some of you you're going to meet this person while you're working 
or you're trying to find where you need to be and then maybe it's all connected your spiritual path your career your love life and marriage as well oh my god so the astral house of career and marriage is going to open in your life something about a boat money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall so maybe finding each other finding your future spouse is going to be like a windfall or good luck for both of you it's like hitting the jackpot <laughs> beetle is also good fortune i tell you it's like hitting the jackpot the saying in here money and windfall maybe you're going to marry someone who's going to bring you a lot of good luck or maybe this is a person who's already luxurious and wealthy you will never know and te temporary situation so whatever you're going through right now if this is like separation or conflict or misunderstanding in the past it's just temporary situation because you know i was already picking up while ago that someone some it's unfinished business between both of you you're going to see each other again or your connection has just begun their journey has just begun so what else yeah you might be asking why why meet and then be separated or why are you in this journey right now why are you seeing a lot of signs deja vu dreams premonitions synchronicities it's because you're divinely guided to be together it's god and universe is un unexplainable it's the inner knowing it's just you know when we're trying to ask what our soulmates it's it's divinely guided it's divinely orchestrated by up above by the divine by god by universe it's it's a like something like a, of a higher truth or higher force bringing you two together that's how it is so you gotta learn to trust trust believe and have faith or trust the process that everything has a reason here nothing is a coincidence shield yourself protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a, a cocoon of healing light surrounding you a special message for you you gotta learn to protect your energies because i could see that you're also very sensitive and you're also um, connecting with someone who's also very emotional elusive mysterious and very sensitive so avoid triggers at all costs maybe that's why your misunderstanding here is arising from all these triggers conflicts and saying things you don't mean your love language here right now is be gentle with each other be kind with each other inner child because both of you are healing your inner child the fairies or playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child playing keeps as young at heart do something silly and fun but stay safe so it's a message for you pile one keep it flirty keep it light do something silly get to know each other you don't have to be so heavy on on each other and put pressure and triggers on each other dragon you might be seeing two to two dragon could also mean strength of courage or manifesting this connection into reality there's a very strong masculine energy going wanting to pursue you wanting to be passionate with you i don't think this person is even going to give up on you they're very attracted to you it's very intense freedom could also meant travel movement Freedom could also mean maybe this person has to free themselves from a toxic past, toxic connection, toxic belief systems. Maybe this person has denied you in the past, ghosted you or something like that. So anyway, but a message here, they want to pursue you. They want to try again. That's what I was picking up and maybe in the past, Maybe they have hurt you because they didn't know any better. They are in the hermit mode. So all I can tell you right now, there's going to be improvement in your connection. Or if there's actual distance here, someone wants to communicate with you and someone wants to come in your life. I'm seeing first meeting or seeing each other again. I will see you again or I, we will see each other again. Something like that, like an opening or if someone was feeling stuck 
before with codependency, third party, whatever, or distance, there's going to be like a bridge or like 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 a special energy to like lift up this obstacle between you two. There's a very strong guidance here from universe to help transition your connection from darkness to light. So you're going to gain clarity who's your future spouse. You're going to gain some kind of assurance. See your future spouse trying to say, I want to give you a promise ring. So they, they want to like uh, make some kind of, of solid offer towards you. So thank you very much. This is what I could see for you. This is what your future spouse wants to let you know. Thank you. And I feel cold. I don't know. I kind of attracted to pile two and pile three. But anyway, I am attracted to pile two. Happy, happy. So maybe you're someone who, you know, wishing to be happy, but also learning about self care and self love. I love the balloons here because you are trying to be hopeful in life hopeful in love so let's see pile two queen of cups yeah you want to attract your future spouse you want to attract your life partner you're also very um intuitive emotional sensitive you could be someone who um, looks younger than your age you could be a healer as well so anyway let's let's understand more you could be soft-spoken you know if it's a feminine she could be like you know beautiful with or without makeup natural beauty soft-spoken introvert let's see knight of cups so whoever you're connecting with if it's your future spouse is also youthful looking younger than their age very youthful or maybe you keep each other young something like that but there's a lot of water energy there's a lot of emotions here you're both emotional feels like message here mutual feelings maybe unspoken love let's see queen of coins but queen of coins is a lady of privilege very elegant very graceful or a message for you pal too to keep your Calm, cool, collected. But whoever is coming towards you, they see you as wife material, girlfriend material. They're so proud to be with you. Let's see, three of ones. I think like there's someone in here who is just waiting for the right time to approach you. If there's actual distance, or even if this person is closer towards you, they're they're revolving around you right now six of pentacles could be someone who could be generous or it could be someone who's learning about karma or learning how to move away from negative karmic pattern the tower yeah you know what you whoever this masculine is they're possibly going through a lot of like you know like uh, life life-changing situation or like some kind of like an experience that's like insane right now I feel like this person is trying to say like you you blew their mind away <laughs> feels like the moment you come into this person's life everything just went intense because the tower is is like this is a connection that they did not expect to happen. Or maybe this is a person who did not expect to feel so deeply for you. Something like that. So let, let me see. Or universe is trying to teach this masculine to clean up the mess in their life so they can come to you. Because their attention is on you right now. They see you as the queen of cups their future wife and their forever but this person is kind of holding themselves back right now from telling you how they feel but they're waiting 
the, your future spouse is trying to say, I am waiting for the right time to tell you how I feel. I'm waiting for the right time to make a grand entrance in your life. I tell you the higher fine because the, the universe is trying to tell your person, your future spouse, to be a better man, to be a better person, to be high vibrational, to be mature for you. The Hierophant is someone conservative, traditional, disciplinarian, to actually be like the, your emperor, like someone who can be your mentor, someone who can support you in your journey and not drag you down. Maybe some, some like in the past, this person is very immature. So this is the reason why possibly universe is putting a block between you because this masculine has to work on themselves until they can like lift their vibration, their frequency and be a better person for you. And then that's how the universe is going to open up the path so you can be together. But it's right here. I could see it. Um, so, you know, I could, I could sense that you love this person and there's also like a masculine who loves the feminine very much. So what else can I chase her? Yeah, at one point there could be chasing chasing and running here or maybe it's a person in here is really going to chase you and pursue you they never really gave up on you let's make our relationship official okay so this person wants to pursue you and really wants to make an official relationship with you and they want to say i understand you I can't wait to hold you in my arms. This is a person who really wants to like be intimate with you. Sorry, I was pretending that I did not see you. So anyway, whatever that means. Sorry, I, I was pretending that I did not see you. So someone is possibility denying their feelings for you. Like I said, there is someone in here who still has to confess their feelings. They're, they're hiding their emotions from you. I love you with all of my heart, body, and soul, but the real feeling is right there. I love you with all, my, all of my heart, body, and soul, which I already was saying that you love each other very much. I am working on my shadows and fears. Well, that kind of makes sense, the tower moment. This is why the universe is trying to, to teach the masculine or you, pile two, to work on your shadows to face your fear and to clean up the mess, whatever you need to clean up in your life. Could be toxic people, places, situation, toxic relationship. If it's not meant to be in the past, why hold on to it? And then they cannot be juggling other toxicity and then come to you. That's why universe trying to say, clean it up. Okay, so please marry me, but whoever this person is, is your future spouse, future husband, future wife trying to tell you, I want to make it official with you, please marry me. So this is what I could understand, but until then, they have to really clean up the mess, which I think they will. To the sea, it's like the queen of cups again. And then look, there's a woman here trying to call her life partner. And this woman is also, like, she's dedicated to heal herself. It's all or nothing. It's soulmate or nothing. Something like that. So she knows what she wants. Crystals. The energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your present situation. So maybe if you are someone who is practicing self-care, self-love, maybe like some kind of crystals is going to help you, like amethyst to help calm you down or like black tourmaline to help ward away from negativity or selenite for like absorbing negative energies or I don't know, like rose, rose quartz attracting love in your life. Okay, so Spirit Guy says, you know, work with crystals to help calm you or surround yourself with crystals to like help like give you that kind of frequency or energy you need right now okay or you could be someone who likes to work with crystals what else hope so there is a rainbow here 
Hope is always there even if we can see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. What did I say? From the very beginning, I was seeing your happy happy as someone who is feeling hopeful. And I did not see this. I did not arrange it. So anyway, the rainbow could signify hope after a storm. The light after the tower moment. The star after the tower moment. So let's see what else can we... Um, we're just trying to look at energies. What's, what's happening here? Happiness. Oh my God. You're going to find someone who's going to make you happy or you might be connecting with someone who who is happy to be around you or like you give this person so much happiness so what else april something about april there's cherry blossoms here and the astral house of love is finally going to open in your life Actually, this happiness is also astral house. So it's like true love happily ever after. <laughs> Something like that. Could be marriage as well. Could be home, family, children, togetherness. Claw, be careful, do not take risks. But there's a message here like, you know, be careful, do not take risks. Be careful of your decisions make smart choices or something like that something about a younger woman dealings or relationship with a younger woman hmm. so do not be immature or what else spare heartache over what you no longer have so hmm. yeah spirit guys is trying to say be careful someone in here needs to make smart choices so so no one is going to be feeling like sorrowful and and miserable here so what else vine seek out information that will help you so there's a message here learn from the life lessons i think this is what i could understand here but regardless Fairy guy says there is hope for you and love and and you deserve to be loved you deserve to be happy but a message here make smart choices make smart decisions or maybe this is a message from the universe to your future spouse that they have to make wise decisions so they're not going to like hurt you i do know that that there was some kind of journey maybe that was this, this was the tower moment you were in currently in separation because you need to heal this chaos and drama and triggers in your life but regardless the sun i, I mean the happiness is almost like the sun that could heal all these difficult challenges in your path what else health see keep it together health could be Spiritual health, physical health, mental health. And paradise could mean peace. So you can attract each other. You can attract your future spouse when you are trying to take care of your health. Self-care, self-love, attract wonderful energies, attract wonderful blessings in your life. And peaceful as well. So you can, you can um, like have this passage. You know, I see this paradise as a Zen bridge, like a very peaceful and harmonious surrounding, like a happy place. Be each other shelter. Like you do, you do not want to be each other's storm. You actually need to be each other's peace amidst all this chaos and storm. That's that's what I could understand. You need to heal each other, not bring down each other. See, spirit guy says you need. To, to actually be loving to each other because you're supposed to give each other good health, peace, and, and um, harmony and not bring each other down. So that's it. Good health and peace and harmony 
is going to attract your future spouse in your life when you are high vibrational when you are incorporating a lot of self-care and self-love and loving yourself first and falling in love with yourself and that, that's how you're going to attract your future spouse in your life and then you're also going to gain a lot of peace and harmony because the more chaotic you are the more you're going to trigger each other the more you're going to like put a lot of blockages in this connection so either way spirit guide says you need to be peaceful to each other or you need to find inner peace you need to find like happiness inside your soul or peace inside your soul or heal the pain in your in, inside your soul so you can be together there is hope for you fam too okay that's what i could understand the astral house of love and happiness is still smiling at you so they're actually universe and god is guiding you lighting your way that love can can heal you and your connection so love is the most powerful healing frequency of all thank you very much let's go sorry about that file soulmates so you could be connecting with a soulmate connection <laughs> sweet hopeless romantic let's see <laughs> what else king of wands you could be connecting with someone who is creative attractive sexy oh my god well well dressed stylish fashionable very talented person could be a public figure they could be well known and they could have a lot of admirers as well so knight of swords but this person's kind of like like um you know they're kind of keeping the real truth this is a person who's kind of wearing a mask just like a magician like they're kind of like a show person but deep inside they're kind of hurting they're 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 keeping their their true self so anyway th this person has a professional world and a personal world so let's find out more yeah spirit guide says um there could be some kind of conflict and drama between you and this person right now because there could be a feminine here like wanting to understand this masculine but sometimes the more she try the more this masculine go back into their shell so um th there is a masculine energy kind of conflicted here like very beautiful person but it's hurting deep inside so the um, seven of wands this is a person who's kind of defensive or possibility a masculine who actually need to put effort and fight for this connection so yeah the emperor see i tell you make time for you so this is a person who's trying to say i should have fought for you I want to fight for you i should have done things for you take you out to places buy you flowers or something like that or if if i was always someone who's making excuses other obligations and pressures i i i hope that i get to spend more time with you and take care of you and protect you because now there is some feminine here she's hurting and she just want to be loved i mean the nine of wands is like someone who is kind of tired of waiting and tired of being single like she just wants to be with her special person but for some reason she's like always misunderstood and oh and she always thought like she wasn't a priority she's just like the option so that's why the message for you right now from your future spouse i want to make you my priority you are my first priority i do not want to make you feel like i'm just leaving you out and and make you feel like you're not special to me or you're just an option i don't want you to, to, to be thinking that um you know i do not care about you i i really do care about you 
but I'm so sorry because this masculine is very conflicted and very complex personality that maybe possibility a lot of pressures that were like pressures around the community, the society, finances, business. I do not know because this person, every time they wake up, they go to the battlefield. So this person, your future spot strength is that I want to give you like abundance or I want to be like physically, emotionally, mentally available for you now when, you know, in the past they weren't, they weren't able to give that to you. Now they want to step up to the plate. That's what I could understand. So, so anyway. They want to be there for you so possibility they wanna they want to propose to you or ask you to be officially together together move in together be together i do not know something like that so let's see i listen to love songs as it re and it reminds me of you so you make this person really hopeless romantic just what i was already trying to say someone wants to be actually to show you like their emotional side now how to be sweet to you because possibly in the past they didn't show you a lot of emotion they you know they were keeping their uh, true emotions from you i love your eyes smile everything about you so this time around this person is going to be hopeless romantic and sweet and and going to be much more expressive with their feelings and appreciation and admiration towards you and this is also a person's trying to say they're going to make an effort now, your future spouse, to find you. Because maybe in the past, they were always making excuses or they were always swamped with obligations and pressures in life that, you know, they didn't have time to actually pursue this connection. Oh my God, I already said hopeless romantic soul tribe. You got to believe me that I did not control this. I, I have never lied to every one of you. The only reason why I, I tried to pre-shuffle this, so there's no going to be repeat, but I was what I'm channeling to you is already coming true. So I know that there is truth in whatever pile that you're going to be picking, okay? So Besser got some effort, so I guess, you know, your sensual, sexual connection with this person is going to be off the chart in and out of the bedroom chance meeting you might meet this person um through a chance meeting so maybe while you're up and about maybe you're going to or maybe you're going to stumble on this person work or maybe you're going to see their i don't know i i feel like if you are if you have a platform if you have a social media that could be a chance meeting as well or you could be up and about and then you're going to be introduced towards each other chance meeting like you're going to be introduced in a party or or you could be running errands and and there they are so that's what i could understand is unexpected meeting so i am planning my next move towards you but yeah this is a person who wants to pursue you strategizing right now how to pursue you, how to get to know you. I tell you, a person who's physically attracted towards you, possibility, love at first sight. I know you are frustrated, but I will make it up to you. Well, that's exactly what I was already trying to tell you. And trust me, Soul Tribe, when I say, this is my handwritten notes. I did not arrange this. I had to pre-shuffle it and I have to channel it real time with you. And I am surprised that I'm already consistent with your energy. But I was already trying to say there is some masculine, your future husband, future spouse is trying to say, I will make it up to you. Maybe I did not buy you flowers before or did not take you out to places or never sweet to you. But this time around, I want to change that. I want to, you to see the sweet side of me. I want to, um, like, you know, really show you how much i love you and how much i care for you see creative artistic movie book collection this person possibly like movies books could be creative and artistic as well see this because this person whoever 
You know, I'm just trying to say this person, but your future spouse knows that you are their true love. That's the reason why they want to step up to the plate now to show you how they truly feel because they are aware that we're, they were slacking to show you the real feelings in the past. Or if you do not know this kind of person yet, well, I hope you're going to find a person like this who's going to be really sweet and really hopeless romantic with you. But we are also channeling your future spouse. So fork in the road. I know there's some kind of challenges here for you and this person. And this person, your future spouse, also knows that, that they might be someone who who weren't so sweet to you in the past or who did not make so much effort in your connection to understand you in the past. So uh, anyway, we are seeing it. Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing. So this connection or your future spouse is trying to say, I am healing myself so I can be better for you. Or you could be someone as well who's trying to manifest healing so you can heal yourself and, and your connection and your future spouse. Or they could be actually maybe you are a healer file three or your future spouse is wasn't aware isn't aware that they could be a healer as well or they're manifesting healing in their life the healing angel is with you supporting your healing work okay well anyway what else is very nice flourish there's a lotus here lotus is the symbol of wisdom self-sufficient wealth good fortune intuition good luck the lotus flower fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others i like the lotus because it's a message that you can flourish even on mucky waters you're going to grow in unexpected places maybe Maybe others do not like to see you and this person together. Maybe you have a lot of jealous people around you who do not, who do not support you to be with your person. But regardless, there's good luck and good fortune. This universe going to really, you know, like help you to be together. Uh, or maybe... See, this is also like a feminine here, like trying to be strong. You stand your ground, you believe in your intuition, and you follow it. You follow your soul. No one else can walk the journey for you. You have to embrace your own journey and fight for your happiness. Fight for what you want. That's what it is. And the astral house of success is going to open for you. So you might be someone who had a lot of detractors, or jewels or haters or snakes or a lot of blockages and fork in the road but spirit guide says you're going to conquer all that your demons your fears a lot of blockages you're going to be winning and slaying okay or you're going to have success in love and happiness and and abundance so what else something about november by the end of the here see i tell you it's all about wealth this lotus is all about wealth good fortune destiny so this wealth is also the astral house so what's going to open for you success and wealth wealth could be in money but wealth could be abundance as well like i said wealth could also be health or happiness so the journey, your journey towards your future spouse, your journey towards each other is not the easiest because like I said, there were fork in the road, there were challenges, there was a lot of like toxic people, places, situation that's been blocking you from being together. But in the end, there's going to be success and wealth and the support from the universe here. So bear, um, danger, especially in money matters. So you could be connecting with someone who could be an entrepreneur or someone who really need to like go to war every day. They could be into business because see something about finances and money matters. Ego, 
triumph over troubles, obstacles, which I was already trying to say. The astral house of success and wealth is trying to tell you you're going to triumph. You're going to conquer all these obstacles and blocks in your path, especially when it comes to your future spouse, if, when it comes to your connection. This is freedom. This is like, you know, power. That's what the eagle symbolizes, victory and success as well, which universe already trying to tell you the astral house of success and victory and wealth stability it's like power like you know you like winning above all who did not believe you but you know what to tell you why are you going to like be focused on others who does not believe you focus on just fighting that you can make it true fighting that you're going to be happy you don't have to seek validation from others who do not believe you, you can't please everyone older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman so you could be someone who's a late bloomer what is going to stop you age is just a number there's the or maybe you could be an old soul a wise woman Maybe it took you forever to understand this journey. But see, a spirit guy says, you're going to have success and wealth. So anyway, maybe you are someone who too, who's too worried that, oh my God, maybe you're already like past your biological clock. You know, we are functioning right now on universe miracles. So please believe. That's all we can do right now. Even me sometimes it's so hard, but I gotta I gotta try. So try we have to try. We it's not like we can you know, we've we've already like invested our time, effort, energy, our spiritual journey here, so might as well stay. See the astral house of success and wealth and a message for you that you will be loved too. And you're not going to be alone because you this is possibly you being worried that you might be like being alone here that possibility you're not going to fall in love no one is going to fall in love with you you might be wrong with that because the message here your soulmate is here that's why you were drawn to your soulmate there is a hope for you possibility for you to find each other in this lifetime even if it took you forever to understand your journey or maybe you're like you are someone who was waiting forever and I have really so much difficulty to to be in your soulmate journey or to understand your spiritual path but what else you're going to have rebirth passion regeneration renewal is also about like finding yourself like if, even if you fell you're going to come back up stronger that's how it is that's what it meant by rebirth or you're going to attract someone who's going to fall in love with you very much your future spouse is going to be very passionate about you give going to give you experience adventure and new beginnings because i also see this renewal as the world new beginnings closure from the past that doesn't need any more renewal can also be growth and and possibility you and your person and your future spouse if you want to build family and and um home and you know wanting to be stable for each other this is what i could see for you pile three maybe a, a person or your future spouse trying to tell you like if i haven't told you i love you before i want to tell you how much i care for you and i love you very much or something like that and and my the, the fire inside my heart every day i'm with you every day you're with me it's just keep getting stronger that's what this person is trying to to tell you now because they realize that that you are someone that they really want to be with forever they are someone who wants to, they want to spend their their lifetime with something like that so oh my god so all i can tell you which i'm already on point anyway your person your future spouse is going to show you 
like they're going to be sweet to you now and and going to be romantic so ex like you know expect that if you might already be drawn to this person this person is going to express a lot of loving thoughts words not only words but also actions because i i think what this person is already trying to say they're going to do everything to to show you how they love you very much and i think this is what i could understand and no matter what the challenges in the past maybe you you have been connecting with a person who needing to really grow up and really needing to learn from from mistakes and i guess that's why this person is trying to tell you now your future husband future spouse future wife that they want to make things right this time around the past won't even matter anymore what matters now is here and now and tomorrow and forever okay so that's a very beautiful message for you thank you very much my soul tribe happy sunday and i hope you resonate with your message and take care now see you on whatever we can be channeling again next time. Bye.